Now, second, successive approximation, one of the most efficient method of a tool converter in which there are different elements. First one is successive approximation register in which it has a total 8 bits output, digital output is there. This SAR is going to be triggered with the help of clock. So clock oscillator is there and we are simply comparing that digital output by converting that digital to analog using digital to analog converter and we are comparing the output analog to the reference analog signal that's why we need to use a digital to analog converter what does it mean? A digital to analog converter means it will convert this digital input into analog output why we are going to use this D2A converter because we are continuously comparing whether this my output is my desired output or not. So we are comparing this with a comparator but before comparator this 8 bit D2A converter is used. Why 8 bit? Because the output of SAR is a 8 bit. So these outputs are going to be applied to the 8 bit DAC. Alright? The circuit diagram of this successive approximation D converter is like this in which that we have discussed the elements like SAR, 8 bit DAC, clock and the ref comparator in which we are going to compare the analog out output of this 8 bit DAC with the reference analog. Alright? So when we are going to start the conversion, we are simply triggering this with the clock pulse as well as we are sending a start conversion pulse. We are sending a pulse to this pin. Alright? And it will make a conversion of analog to digital signal. And this output is going to be stored in this output register. which has Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, up to Q7. Eight outputs are there. Alright? So this is the circuit diagram of successive approximation in a 2 converter. Now, the next is dual slope a 2 converter. It is highly accurate and it has a, a fewer adverse effect from the noise. But the cons are it is a slow but this accuracy dependent on the use of the external components. Now what is sigma delta A to D converter? The sigma delta A to D converter has a higher resolution but it has a slower speed that means they are not going to respond instantly when I am going to apply the input signal but they can be used for the low bandwidth. But in which we are not, it is not required any precision components. Now we are going to do the comparison of different ADC based on the resolution. You can see for sigma data, the resolution is higher. Approximately from 11 to 23 bits. For successive approximation, it is like 8 to 17 bits. For flash type, it is like 4 to 13 bits. And for dual slow, it is 12 to 18 bits. So this is the comparison of four types of ADC in terms of resolution. That means how we are going to convert that analog signal into number of bits. Resolution is higher, error is lower. If we can compare this 4 ADC in terms of speed and the cost. So, 
we can say the flex type ABC is the faster compared to other three. But the cost is highest of other three ABC. Right? This is the comparison of and then of the digital converter. Alright? Now what are the applications of ADC? First it is used in measurement, in control systems. They are going to be used in the programmable logic controllers. This is used for sensor information or in, in robotics, in cell phones, in video devices and the audio devices. Right? Now over here, and then our digital converter is finished. Now what is DAC? DAC stands for digital analog converter. That means it is, it is used to convert the digital signal into the analog signal. That means disk signal is going to be converted into the continuous analog signal. Right? This could mean in terms of binary, in terms of digital, right? 1010 form. They are going to be applied to DAC. You will get this continuous signal. Alright? So what is DAC? We can say from this graph on the x-axis what is there? On the x-axis and then our output signal is there and on the other axis digital input signal is there. Right? So over here the digital input is represented in the form of four bits like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, up to 1, 0, 1, 1. We know that a 0, 0, 0, 0 means in terms of the decimal value it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 means 1, 4, 0, 0, 1, 0 means 2, 0, 0, 1 means 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, right? So this is the line which shows we are going to convert the digital signal into the analog signal, right? So this is my digital signal input and this is analog output. Now what are the types? There are two types of DAC. Two types are binary weighted and the Arduino layer. But it usually use switches, resistors and the open for the conversion of digital signal into the analog signal, right? Now, first we are going to focus on the binary weighted register. So in binary weighted register, we are going to use OPEN for a summing of my input signal with the help of registers, right? So these weighted registers are used to distinguish each bit from the most significant bit to the least significant bit, right? Over here we are going to use a transistor as a switch. Why? Because we need to identify a bit high or low. That means B difference and the ground, right? So in binary meter register, the advantages are it is a simple construction and it will do the faster conversion of analog to digital. It will faster do a faster conversion from a digital to analog. Right? Then these advantages are it requires a large range of register. 
with a high precision because these resistors are going to convert the digital signal into the analog signal. So it can be expensive. Apart from that, we need to require a low switch resistor in transistor. So as the cost is going to be increased, it limits to a resolution which is up to the 8 bit. Alright? So to overcome this disadvantage, we are going to use R2R leader. In this R2R leader, this is the circuit diagram in which we have used open and the combination of resistors. Why it is called R2R? As it consists of the network of resistor in which it has an R and 2R. So whatever value of R, the twice the value of this resistor is going to be taken. Right? And this resistor's combination of the resistor network is going to be connected with the off switch. And if the switch is connected to the ground, that means bit 0 is there. And this switch is connected to VCC, that means a logic 1 is there, bit 1 is there. Alright? And over here, the output is connected to the input, that means feedback is there. Right? So this each bit corresponds to a switch. The bit is high as I have told you, which corresponds to a switch which is connected to the inverting input. And if the bit is low, that means switch that switch is going to be the switch is going to be open. Alright? That means it is connected to the ground. The bit is low. So this switch must be connected to the ground. If we need to consider that bit is zero. Right? So if you are going to simplify this the network of register. We can say that after simplifying this network, we can say it is a parallel combination of 2R. So, equivalent resistance is 2R into 2R upon 2R plus 2R that you have already seen in the network theory that equivalent resistor for the parallel combination of two resistors is like this. Alright? So, equivalent resistor is R. So, what are the applications of DAC? First is, we are able to control the motor, which must be a digital motor. It can be used in the computer printers, in sound equipment like MP3 players, cruise control, in digital thermostat. Right? So over here, unit number 9, that is A to D converter and D to D converter is finished. And the syllabus of a digital system design is also finished. 100% syllabus is finished, right? Mm -hmm. Still, if you have any question, you can ask me at any time on my email ID. Till then, thank you for your attention. Thank mm -hmm. you.